tell you that. It's not cheap, it's on purpose. Do I look like a badass? Do I look like I can beat you up? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if you are new, welcome here to my channel in general. I am so excited for today's video because once again I am partnering up with YesStyle.com. I have been using YesStyle since I think even maybe before I was in university because they are just this massive website of affordable Asian style clothing perfect for when I was a student and didn't have a ton of money. Everything is so super affordable and so super cute. I absolutely love this website. And today I am back with a clothing haul from them, but it's not just any regular clothing haul. It's actually a husband rates my clothing haul kind of video. If you guys haven't really been watching my content since December, yep, I announced at the end of 2019 that Andy and I got legally married over the summer and we have been living together as husband and wife since July of 2019 actually so if that's a bit of shocking information to see husband in the title of this video there you go Andy and I are married we're also having a wedding here in Korea in October of this year 2020 so you'll probably be seeing more wedding content coming up in the future again don't be surprised Andy and I are married and I love him so much but we like to call him judge Andy because he loves to judge and rate things so he is going to be judging and rating my yes style haul and I think we're going to end on the best and start with the worst. I say that because after I placed this order, I found out that he has kind of a phobia. Because we're like doing wedding things, we were looking at wedding dresses and there was one with polka dots. And before I could say anything, he like immediately voiced disgust and I kind of found out that, you know, he has like a borderline that kind of like phobia of like holes and dots and like circles really close together that's a real thing i'm sure a lot of people already know about it but i had placed this order before finding out that he was like that and i ordered a polka dot mesh shirt so i really anticipate him not liking this one at all since i found out that polka dots give him like anxiety not polka dots specifically but any kind of like hole or circle close together just makes him like feel weird inside so we're gonna start with this and see how he feels and then we're gonna try to build our way back up to some positivity I think my final two outfits here he's really gonna like they're my favorites too and I think he's gonna really start to feel better about things after I try those outfits on but we're starting at the worst so that we can end on a high note and I'm not just gonna like wear this by itself I think that would be too much for him so we're starting with this mesh polka dot top and I'm going to be wearing it under a sweater because it is March people and I stay cold until basically May so throughout April and March I'm probably still gonna be wearing sweaters even if I'm wearing shorts I might still wear shorts with a sweater so I think this would be a really freaking cute spring combination this polka dot mesh shirt under this like very light pink sweater I think it's gonna be so cute and I hope he gets over the fact that these are polka dots and he thinks they're cute too so with that being said, I am just going to quickly show you guys all eight things in my haul now and then cut away to the reveal. Andy's being outside, he's actually playing video games right now, but I'm going to make him sit in a chair and he's going to rate and judge my outfits. <laughs> so obviously, to start, I've already brought it up, but we have this, I think, super cute polka dot mesh shirt that you can wear like a camisole under or on top of or you can use it to layer under sweaters like I plan on doing until it's like 70 degrees or higher outside. <laughs> I actually plan on building my way from colder to warmer weather because it is March right now and some days really feel warm like spring and some days are really still so cold and I am still wearing sweaters every day and I probably will for quite a few more weeks. So we have this sweater. Ooh, coming up next, this is the second thing I will be wearing. I'm really trying to wear more colors, so I just thought this like kind of orangey yellow was a really gradual step from my neutral browns into more colors, because I, I really don't like wearing bright colors. I feel like they wash me out, like I'm too pale for bright colors. So we're going into this sweater, really cute. And then after that sweater, we have more of like a transitionary sweater, like a really good spring sweater. And I love this shirt because of the embroidery on the sleeves. Look at that beautiful blue embroidery. And you know what that's going to look so good with? Blue jeans and blue shorts. I think I'm going to look so cute this spring in this top. And I'm still going to stay warm because again, I'm chilly until like 
May. <laughs> Very cute. I hope Andy likes it too. Next is something that I have actually already worn out in public because I couldn't help myself. It was just too cute and I posted a picture of it on Instagram so you may recognize this top. I love lettuce edge trim. So the neckline and the end of the sleeve are the lettuce style trim which I think is very cute and I think this is a perfect spring top. And with that shirt actually, I am going to be wearing my new favorite accessory which you have also already seen on Instagram. It is this hoop beret. It's so cute. I love those hoop details. After that, we have one of my new favorite shirts. It is meant to be like an off the shoulder kind of shirt, but it has these straps to kind of make sure it stays on your shoulder and it's secure and it doesn't like slide around and expose anything. All right, so this is the second to last piece and personally my favorite. It's very similar to our first little number, but this is a, another kind of mesh shirt. Um, I don't want to call it like an undershirt because it can be worn so many different ways, but it's again one of my favorite colors, this kind of like tan coffee color. It's this really delicate lace and I think this is going to look so good with again like a camisole under or on top or under like a very light jacket. I am so excited to wear this in the spring and I think this is going to be one of Andy's favorite things too. So our last item now is the one that I definitely think Andy is going to like the most and it is this black kind of like faux corduroy jacket and I know you guys like really can't get a good kind of vibe of what it looks like right now but it's a super super light jacket it's perfect for you know this kind of transitionary time where you you really need layers because it's not very warm yet but you don't want your layers to be too thick because it's not winter anymore so this is a great early spring jacket okay so i am going to put the first little number on and then we're gonna head out and start the husband judging part of this video and we will see if my two favorite items which I also think will be his two favorite items are actually in fact his two favorite items so let's get judging <laughs> Why? What do you hate about it? I, I just I hate it. You hate it? Do you like the neck part? No. I'm not trendy. You don't I, think it's I, trendy? I, I, I think it's trendy, but I am not trendy. So You're not why. trendy. It's weird. <laughs> um, do you hate the polka dots? Yeah. If it has a different pattern, I would like it. I don't know. I don't like this pattern. You don't like the pattern. So what would you rate this top out of 10? A 5. 5? Really? That's so much higher than I thought you would say. I thought you'd give it a two. No. Ooh, we're starting on a five. We're starting good. Okay, I'm gonna go put the next one on. Thank you, Judge Andy. You're welcome. See, I think this is so cute with this sweater. So good for spring, right? Like cherry blossoms? Shirt number two. You look very familiar. What do you mean something, familiar? Something. You already have like this style a lot. Oh. You, your wardrobe, right? Like big sweaters. Like sweaters. Like and oversized. And stripe patterns. Stripe. You have something like this. I have other stripe things. Do yes, I? Yes. But the color is different, right? Yeah. It's pumpkin. Pumpkin color? Yeah, it looks good on you. This color looks good on you. Yeah, you think so? I look good in pumpkin color? Mm. Good, nice. So what's your rate for this sweater? Six. Six? It's just only a little bit better than the polka dot one? Uh, yeah, I like the, the matching blue jeans. Oh, you like it with blue jeans? Yes. Nice. Okay, thank you Judge Andy, 6 out of 10. Time for shirt number 3. Close your eyes. Oh, 
Okay. Shirt number three. What do you think? Hmm. I like the pattern. Yeah, you like that? Something flowers in the novel, like Harry Potter. Oh, you mean like magic flowers? Yeah, yeah they're cute, right? And they match. I, and I like the um, color combination, blue between the blue and yellow. I like that. Yeah, it's almost it's a complementary color with your scheme. Blue jeans too. Yeah, the jeans. So what's okay. this rating for this sweater? Six. Six? Is it comfortable? Yeah. Like a, it's not bothering your skin? No. 6.5. 6.5. Deal. Deal? Okay, 6.5. Good deal. Okay, next two. So we have the shirt and the hat. The shirt? Hmm? So I have to judge two items? Yes, the hat and the shirt. Yeah, I like the hat. Yeah, you like the hat? Uh, what? It's point, pointy something. It's a beret. Yeah, the little beret point. Do you like the hoops? Yeah, yeah. You like the color? And materials. Yeah, the material's really nice. It's just a little bit too big for my head, but I have a really small head. So literally every hat in the world is just a little too big for my head. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what do you rate the hat then? Seven. Seven? Mm -hmm. Alright, so far the hat is the favorite, the cute beret. What about the top? Um, I am frustrated with the materials. Why? The edge? Yeah. You don't like the lettuce edge? It looks cheap. <laughs> they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. It's not cheap, it's on purpose. You don't like it at all? Oh, no. The lettuce edge style? I love it. Are you gonna wear something on it? No, like over top? Yeah. I can just wear it by itself. No. You don't why don't you like it by itself? It's too four. Four? This is worse than the polka dots? Mm. Yeah. Really? Yes. Just because of the lettuce trim? Do you think it's a cute ensemble? Like the shirt together with the hat is cute? Yeah, but you have to wear something on top. Why? Why do I have to wear something on top? Because I don't like it. <laughs> to cover it? Because you don't like it? <laughs> cover it. Okay, so honestly, I thought you would think the polka dot one was the worst. I expected that to get like a two. I'm really surprised that the polka dot ranked higher than this top, which I really like. But we have three more, and I think my guess is that you're going to like the last three the most. But I don't know, you already proved me wrong by liking this more than the polka dot shirt. So let's go, last three. <laughs> okay. I don't like it. At all? Really? What if I untuck it? I thought it looks better tucked in. No, even worse. Two. My weight is two. Suck. <laughs> it doesn't suck. But I do think it looks better tucked in. Okay. You, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. Should I tuck it back in? Will that make it better? Whatever you do, it sucks. It doesn't suck. It's really cute. It's really good for warm weather. What don't you like? You have to give me a reason. Too showy without Reason. No, I, yeah, the, the neckline. Like the, yeah, my least favorite is the top, the neckline. The neckline is what you don't like. It's weird. I mean, it should be more under or up. It's oh. very vague position. Oh, so you don't like how straight it is? I prefer that. But it's so it should either be like higher up or fall lower down. But you don't like that it's straight. Two point five, and you and you tucked in two. Ah, uh, fine. Okay. Well, we have two more, and you better like the last two because I thought for sure you would like the last two. Okay. 
Just this part. Seven. Seven? Yeah? You like it? Yeah, I like it. Yeah? But how can you make a style? I thought this, this was a this style. Shirt. I mean, how can you make the style with this shirt? Like this. Maybe like a white? Yes. So if there was a white camisole on top, would it still be a seven? Mm. Yeah. Or more. Or more. Okay, with a different color, not the black. It would be more. What do you like about it? I like the patterns. Yeah, the lace. Do you like the color? Yeah, but you do really be careful to deal with this. Yeah, it's delicate. I can't put this in the wash. I have to hand wash it, but that's okay. I have a lot of hand wash clothes. Do you think this one's your favorite so far? Yeah. yeah. Can I give the first one... Can I fix it? Okay. Give four. So seeing this one made you downgrade yes. the white one. Yes. Okay. So I have one more and I think it'll be your favorite, but let me know if you like it more or less than this one. Okay. Ready? Last one with Judge Andy. All right. The design's really cool. It's a really flattering like length. It hits me in a really flattering place. An eight. Eight? There we go. Is this one your favorite? Yes. I knew it. I knew this one would be your favorite. The most stylish item ever like so far. The most stylish one so far? Thank you very much, sir. So I was right. I knew you would like this one. Good. Thank you, Judge Andy, for your coveted eight. You never rank anything 8 or 9 out of 10. <laughs> thank general. you. Yeah, in general, even when it comes to food or like anything really. So thank you for your most coveted 8 out of 10. Do I look like a badass? Do I look like I can beat you up? No, I can't. But does it look like- I know I can't, but does it look like I can? No. No? Sorry. This isn't intimidating at all, this black jacket. <laughs> Okay everyone, so that is it for my husband judges my Yes Style haul. Um, the thing that I thought you would hate the most ended up just being in the middle of the ranking, but the two things that I thought you would like the most were the two that you liked the most, so that was good. Um, it's really cloudy and weird weather today, so I'm sorry if the lighting was inconsistent or weird at any times, but that's it. For this week's video, I hope you guys really liked it and enjoyed it. If you want to support me, please consider donating to my coffee page. Of course, your coffee donations do not go towards me actually getting a coffee. They go towards me improving my channel, like how you guys were able to help me get a new mic. So thank you so much for that, and we will see you more in the future, obviously, with other future content. Again, I'm sorry if the lighting was weird in this video. I am going to start planning some spring outfits now. So thank you, Andy for being in this video with me today. Nice work. Thank you. Uh, can we go get milk now? I need more milk. Sure. Okay. Thank you guys. See you next time. Bye bye. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet.